How to make a parametric modular kitchen casework in Revit. Part 2. How to add shelves, base unit, one door. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open base unit one door on part 1. Select the door. Go to graphics. Visible. Pick the button and create new parameter type door on off okay okay <laughs> go to edit types let map the door finish material pick the button create new parameter type door finish okay okay full handle finish pick the button create new parameter and type full handle finish <coughs> okay 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 next go to family types Select the pull handle, move parameter up, okay, module finish, move parameter up, okay, next, go to reference level, create reference plane, draw a reference plane, <coughs> dimension, Select the two reference plane, select the dimension, and create new parameter. Type shelf depth. Okay. Next, go to front elevation. Graphic display select the wireframe. Okay. Create reference plane. Draw a reference plane at center. Okay. Dimension. Pick this reference plane. Pick and make it equal. Okay. Next, create reference plane. Draw a reference plane, select the reference plane, and change the dimension to 10 millimeter. Mirror or type MM. Pick this reference plane. Okay, next dimension the three reference plane. Lock, lock, okay. Next, go to reference level, create extrusion, select the rectangle, draw a rectangle, align, select reference plane, align, lock, select reference plane, align, lock, select reference plane, align, lock, okay. Select, align, lock. Finish extrusion. Go to front elevation. Pull the arrow or push the arrow up. Push the arrow up. Align. Select reference plane. Align, lock. Select reference plane. Align, lock. <coughs> Okay, select the shelves, material and finishes, and select the module finish. Okay, next, go to graphics, visible, pick the button, and let's create a new parameter. Type single shell. Make it instance okay okay 
next create a reference plane for the double shelves draw a two reference plane dimension select this reference plane this reference plane this reference plane and this reference plane pick okay make it equal next select these two reference plane copy check multiple pick the base at this reference plane pick here and pick one here okay select the dimension delete dimension select the three reference plane pick and lock okay dimension pick the three reference plane pick and lock okay <coughs> Next, create extrusion. Select the rectangle. Okay. Draw a rectangle, a two rectangle. Align. Select reference plane, lock. Select reference plane, align, lock. Select reference plane, align, lock. Okay. Select, align, lock. Select reference plane, align, lock. Okay. Finish. Go to reference level. Okay, push the arrow. Okay, push this arrow up. Then align. Select reference plane, align, and lock. Okay, select this reference plane here. Align. Okay, lock. Next go to view let's create a section double click the section head okay let's change the graphic display to realistic select the double shelves go to material and finishes pick the button and select the module finish <coughs> Okay, graphics visible pick the button and create new parameter type double shelves make it instance okay okay next go to family types select the sing single shelves move up okay next let's try the module height change it to 1000 okay let's go back to 720 millimeter apply okay Shelf depths, move the parameter down. Okay. Next, change the shelf depth to 600 millimeter. Okay. <coughs> Next, go to reference level. Let's delete this section. Go to view. 3D view family types 
let's create a new parameter a new types let's type base unit bu 1d or one door width 60 depth 65 and a height of 90 okay next we have 60 65 and countertop height is 900 millimeter okay next save the family base unit one door let's load this to our sample project so we can test the family okay let's go to level one okay go to families casework insert base unit one door okay drag pick okay select the family space to rotate okay let's align with the wall okay let's look at the section okay select the unit let's move Okay, select. Let's make a copy. Okay, go to properties, edit type, duplicate. Let's make a duplicate with a width of 30 centimeter. Okay, let's change the width to 0.3 meters. Okay, perfect next select the unit copy okay select the unit go to properties select edit type duplicate and let's make a duplicate uh, base unit with no doors or buxd okay and let's uncheck or turn off the door on and off okay now select the unit uncheck the double sh shelves so we have a single shelf only copy okay next edit type mm. okay Uncheck single shelf and check double shelves. Okay. Next. Select this unit. Copy. Okay. Go to edit type. Duplicate. Let's uh, duplicate a copy uh, with the width of 45 centimeter and change the width to 0.45 okay next copy select this unit copy okay let's make edit type duplicate now let's make a base unit with a width of 90 centimeters and change the width value to 0.9 meters okay let's move this unit okay next copy okay go to properties edit type Let's make a BU with no doors, BUXD with 90 and uncheck 
the door on and off okay select the unit uncheck double shelves okay so we have the single shelves only let's align first the casework okay align 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 okay align okay let's copy this unit now let's uncheck the single and check the double shelves okay let's see the 3d okay modify let's turn up the lights okay select the line work and pick the lines done thank you